Hello friends, so here is another question on zener diode circuits. So here in this circuit we have uh, this uh, zener diode with a breakdown voltage of 12 volt zener diode and information is given that this voltage across this load resistor it has to be maintained at 12 volt obviously as the breakdown voltage is 12 volt it will be maintained at 12 volt that is very obvious and the load current it varies from 0 to 200 milliampere it means the minimum value of load current is 0 and the maximum value of load current is 200 milliampere this and it has been asked to find the value of this series resistance okay and also the wattage rating of the zener diode wattage means product of the zener voltage and the zener current okay the maximum value okay so here we have to uh, use certain equations okay so basically in order to determine R we have to use KVL equations so two things are very important here the input voltage is fixed and as a result the current which will flow through this that will also be fixed this current I this current I will be fixed because input is fixed zener voltage is fixed resistor R is fixed so obviously this current will be fixed changes will happen on the other side here it is IZ here it is IL IZ will fluctuate between minimum and maximum values IL will fluctuate between minimum and maximum values this is already given this is 0 milliampere this is 200 milliampere another thing that is very important is that as the source current is the sum of the zener and load current this is fixed and these are changing so they will balance itself out to keep this source current I fixed when IZ will go up IL will go down when IZ will go down IL will go up to keep this fixed this current I fixed so it means when load current will be minimum zener current will be maximum when load current not equal this is arrow not equal when load current will be maximum zener current will be minimum that now so here the minimum zener current as nothing has been specified so it will be 0 milliampere this occurs when load current maximum value is 200 milliampere okay no current flows through the zener diode all of the current flows through the load resistor so in this case if we apply KVL in this circuit that is the series the current flowing through the series resistance R will be equal to in this condition IZ min plus IL max this is equal to 0 this is equal to 200 milliampere total is 200 milliampere so here when we apply KVL in this loop this is equal to VI minus IR minus 
vz equals to 0 vi is given it is 16 i we calculated it 200 milliampere multiplied with r which is unknown minus vz which is 12 equals to 0 that implies r is equal to 16 minus 12 volt by 200 milliampere so when we calculate it okay it is 4 volt by 200 milliampere that is equal to it is coming uh, let us calculate it Twenty. It is coming twenty ohm. R is equal to twenty ohm. Next is to find out the wattage rating. Wattage rating is nothing but this. Wattage rating of Zener diode. is the product of the Zener voltage and the maximum value of Zener current. So here maximum value of Zener current occurs when load current is minimum. Load current minimum value is how much? 0, 0 milliampere. So in that case using the equation, KCL equation, IZ max will be 200 milliampere okay Zener voltage is equal to how much 12 volt Vz is equal to 12 volt so wattage rating is 12 volt applied with 200 milliampere that is equal to uh, 2.4 watts okay 2.4 watts okay so here the important thing again is to find the relationship between one parameter and the other okay all the time when it comes to solving Zener diode circuits first thing you have to figure out what type of circuit it is here it is fixed source or fixed input variable load type so when the variable load circuit comes into play it means that the load current will fluctuate between a minimum and maximum value as the load current fluctuates between minimum and maximum value the zener current will also fluctuate between a minimum and maximum value and this source current current flowing from the source that will always be fixed because this is fixed Zener voltage is fixed this resistance is fixed so in order to keep this uh, source current fixed these Zener current and load current they will you know increase and decrease to always keep this constant so when load current will increase Zener current will decrease and vice versa so depending on that you have to select specific parameters to appropriate parameters appropriate combinations so that you can put those values and get the result it it means that you cannot put load current minimum value of load current and minimum value of Zener current at the same time because it can never happen okay minimum value of load current occurs when the value of Zener current is maximum maximum value of load current occurs when the value of Zener current is minimum it can never be that both the load current and Zener current will be minimum at the same time both the load current and Zener current will be maximum at the same time so these combinations okay these appropriate combinations these are very important first you identify them then you use the appropriate values to get the results if you put you know the wrong combinations then you will get the wrong results okay so this is another question on Zener diode circuits.